Hello and welcome back to Call of Duty World War II campaign and in this part while I had been resetting my Seven microphone settings we have begun Operation Cobra taking place approximately one month after the initial well, invasion the Americans and allies have set up a strong foothold on the beaches of France and onward into territory making their way towards Paris and we're about to go in and uh, F things up <sighs> fellas, I'd say we're doing pretty good. Not the graphics still look amazing. Uh, yeah, I'm glad you agree that that was one with a characteristic of this game that makes it awesome is really high cutscene production value. Smelling where's Lamada? Smelling would have KO'd Lamada. No way. And Smelling's a Nazi. I'd shoot him in a heartbeat. Now they made him their poster boy. I didn't have a choice. We all got a choice. You know, Nietzsche said there was only oh, a strong... That's enough mouth. All right. Uh, what about Lewis for Sugar Ray Robinson? If we're talking 1938, Lewis Robinson wins uh, hands down. Uh, uh, so I take it we're discussing boxing? Yeah, they're talking boxing. Before the... Well, well before the days of, you know, Muhammad Ali, the king of boxing in America, and the king of the world. And Cassius and George. And they're talking about, like, Jack Dempsey and shit. Good to be back, sir. All right, fellas. We got a unique opportunity here. This is our chance to break out of Norman. It won't be easy. The hedgerows are heavily defended. We got reports of crowd armor in the area. But if we can hold and secure Marinier, we own the roadways. And if Zussman can take a knife in the gut and come out swinging, I like our odds just fine. I always bet on a winner, sir. For Turner, shielding us is his noble calling. That is pretty badass. The war just Saying happened. like he's got the knife in his hand. It's like, this is for you. <laughs> I believe this belongs to you, sir. <laughs> so, that is a lot of air. Uh, that is a lot of uh, air presence. Do are are any of those planes actually armed? Oh yeah, they're probably they're probably P fifty two bombers. So they'll just they'll ride in low and they'll drop bombs directly on tanks. You know, a wound like this takes eight weeks to heal. I'm ready, Sergeant. You've got my word. Oh, your word. Uh, by the smoke and, yep, gun spray in the sky, it looks like the so airborne is get under attack by AA guns. I'm just fine and dandy, sir. You got guns, Brandon. I just don't want to see him. Tanks rolling! Mm. That's technically abu abusing someone un under your authority, so... Well, Piers is an asshole. We already know this about Piers. And we will see a lot of assholeism from Piers. This is war, after all. That you can either listen to him and save your life, or you can run away crying and get shot in the billy by the Germans. Looks like you're holding up all right. Yeah, how about yourself? I couldn't let you guys have all the fun. Uh, fun's not allowed under Pearson. You know why he's always writing you? Kasserine Pass. Lost my best friends there. Yeah, earned him an Article 15 and a demotion. He had to be a hard ass, and his men paid the price. Tree! Fubar, a massacre. Him almost got hit by the tree, no dude. Oh, he knew it was there. Well, we only survived because they didn't have time well, I mean, maybe he didn't know, but the game developers knew that he was there. Lost everything thanks to that son of a bitch. But Turner still ain't over it. Matter of fact, he was the one who wrote him up. Pearson figures if he makes you a model platoon, he'll get it scrubbed. Only we're doing the scrubbing. <laughs> yeah, now you're getting it. It's why he's never gonna give up. He'd kill to have it removed. You know what I kill for? Decent grub. And we were uh, talking fed, over so? one of the major are, plot Are they seriously ill-fed? Hey, well, I mean, they're, they're, they're the rations. They, they've been on the beat. They've been uh, on for okay. a month. I mean, they've been used to just whatever they whatever they're getting served up. I mean, in Saving Private Ryan, they're eating, like, bologna and cheese sandwiches and off of, you know, slightly dusted plates and burnt coffee. They did give us Kepler, Mozart, All right, Marlena Dietrich. See, that's more like but as I was saying, one of the, you know, while these guys have their little banter moment, uh, <clears throat> Gasserine Pass and the loss of men under Pierce's command, that happened as a major plot point and will appear numerous times throughout the storyline. And meanwhile, we are finally under attack. Did 
they actually need to throw a, uh, an air bomb at us, given that they've got infantry on the ground here? Well, I guess it goes both ways. Might not. It might not even. We're gonna capture one of their AA guns to bring down those Stukas. All right, the Stukas. That's why I dropped the bomb on us. Gameplay moment. Prone. Ow. Mm. Any chance you're gonna actually deal with the uh, the machine guns in the barn? Well, the game over screens are great teachers. We find, aren't they? Well, I'm thinking, dude. You're right. You're you're right next to what, what is uh, confirmed to be, you know, a solid act, uh, so solid architectural uh, uh, points of interest. So you and you do happen to have four uh, frag uh, frag grenades. So throwing one uh, throwing one in the general in that general area might actually score you some uh, some decent safety advancing on these points. You're probably right that the especially controlling their movement and motivating them to move out of cover. Definitely. So machine gun though, it might be we might be in the barn on which it's situated, so we close the distance. Doing my stupid Hollywood. Ah, I'm running in. Yeah, see, this, uh, this, this, uh, this grouping of, uh, of enemies right there would have been would have been prime target for a frag grenade. Yeah, but but I would have hit Zussman though. Well, you weren't supposed to use it at this point. You were supposed to use it like a full minute and a half ago. When we were advancing, yeah. So use okay. So use frag grenades to advance, but maybe don't use frag grenades to defend. Right. Sound strategy. He's breaking from cover. I don't even know how I survived that, but that's awesome. Uh, get down. Oh, hay bales are. Uh, uh, hey, bales have enough defensive uh, integrity to block to block uh, rifle bullets. Yeah, sure. Well, I mean, inside it's just made of empty space, through which nothing can travel. Sir, ready for ammo. It's here, Private. Well, thank you. All right, team. I'm gonna try to flank him on the left side. Hmm. So do we actually have a do we actually have the uh, havoc physics engine uh, for uh, uh, for uh, for individual objects in this game? Yes, we do. Uh, so by okay. so and that's and that works. Well, I mean, it's especially noticeable in zombies mode, but I'm pretty sure it works for the for the human uh, corpses in this game. That well, if you get a if you get a kill shot, you know, for example, if the dude is running and you shoot him in the head, then his body will fall according to the rules of havoc. Which is, you know, takes into account of velocity. It also makes it very, very funny when I blow up zombies with grenades. Nice. Make those little red X's. Those are uh, hit markers, right? Well, the white the white X's are hit markers. The red X's are death markers. Ah, okay. Send it this way. On it. Another first aid kit. So, Yay! Thank you. Wow, what a well-stocked team I have. Almost like this is perfect world. I've never actually played perfect world. <laughs> so that's that, that and the, all right. Well, as an aside, what what is the premise of Perfect World? <laughs> uh, Perfect World is an Asian MMO. That's honestly all I know about it. MMORPG, where everything works and nothing is bad. Uh, no, that is not how M that is not how MMORPGs work. I thought so. Yeah, keep feeding me them bullets. Well, this is no perfect world over here. 
things fall apart all the time. I'm like getting blown up by a grenade out of God knows where. And as Lindsay Sterling would say, as the cracks begin to show. Oh, like flamethrowers. Walking into a flamethrower. He's recommending bayonet charge, and I just keep thinking, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. I used to use these back in Texas. While taking down bombers out of the sky with a little scoop gun and a BB. He's going down. No, so you do have to lead your shots quite significantly. I think so. Nice. Target destroyed. Thank you for your instant feedback. All right, just just keep keep, keep them off me, boys. I'm firing. Rapid lens. They're all to us. Stuka's attacking our position. He's going down. And oh, oh, okay. Now I can zoom in. You I press the zoom button. Can for the record, you. For the record, this is not a weapon that would have had a zoom even, uh, even <laughs> if they could fit one. Well, I mean, there's a. I mean, there is a scope uh, on the left. Me. Yep. Just we're all set with using that shit. He's going down. Or maybe it's useful Three for spotting Three. targets. This is usually like... I recall a lot of t situations I see more than just one person sitting in these Eight little AA nine. guns. Yeah, you usually have, you usually have a spotter and, and the cannoneer himself. Yep. Above. Got him. Ah, oh, how very cinematic. No, we didn't get a trophy for it. Not well. Hey, Perez. You okay? They got my buddy Mills in the ambush, but we hit him back hard. The holdouts are dug in with packs up ahead. Gotta clean them out. All right, Pearson, take a fire team through the orchard and find an overwatch position. After you soften up the packs, I'll lead the main assault with Perez. Yes, sir. Daniel, Sussman, you're with me. Come on. Mm, all right, so... Uh, an Overwatch position for us would actually require some some ar architecture, right? Oh yes, indeed the architecture, like having to climb up towers, and then say prayers qu and quotes from scripture while murking dudes from at least two hundred yards. Okay, maybe well maybe not that far, maybe more like one hundred yards. My shield and he and who my trust. Flat gun sooner. Can't blame yourself. Mm. Are you gonna look over at the uh, point of interest, Mr. Cloud? Depends how many times that I die during the session. We're fighting Nazis. We're fighting. We're killing Nazis. That's Over right. They hung yeah, these folks. We want to hang them back. This is not a vantage point. Uh. Get out your binoculars. There's Perez and his boys. So let's. So yeah, that's what our that's what our frag grenades are for. No, pass cloud. You have frag grenades. Take out the cannons with your fragmentation grenades. Dude, those are way too far away. What if I miss? It doesn't actually matter if you miss. Pull, uh, pulling off the inf uh, the infantry. Uh, uh, pulling off the in the supportive infantry onto your position will make it so that the uh, that the uh, advancing armor has got less targets to deal with. Yeah. Still, I mean, if I if I got the if I landed it correctly, yeah. The same multiplayer, Mr. Gerda. These are AI and they're stupid enough. <laughs> See, a multiplayer, I'll just fucking throw a grenade and say, I'm gonna get you, and then I, and then I actually got him. <laughs> Rarely, like but yes. <laughs> so you're telling me that we can't actually throw a grenade 50 meters on the single player? Well, we can, so some of us are good at it. <laughs> oh, alright. Wow. 
soon we will embrace uh, focus sight. <laughs>